<laughs> hey, Molly. Mm. I found you, Red Deer. Are they back? Where are the Red Deer? How far? How far out are they? Um. On the other side of the freaking lake again? Honey, yeah. You have the six and a half mil. That's not a problem. Is the seven male there? Yeah, there's a seven male. They're like. That's. That's almost three, four hundred yards, though. Where? Uh, I can still do it with the six and a half. There's something moving around go close go to us. I hope. I, I guess no one hears that. No. I mean, I was yeah. running around just now, but. No, can no, you I, I hear the. Spot it? Yeah, hang on. Let me pull up my binoculars. For me, they're at four hundred. I can't spot Here, them. I'll, oh. I'll spot right oh, next I to you. See hang on. He's behind right. a tree. Yep, there he yeah. is, purple. There he Why is. Are they always. Uh, 365 yards, and he is the one in front. You got a quartering shot at the shoulder blade. Hit. 2550, 025, down. down. Nice. There. <laughs> Feel better now. <laughs> is there another one? There were two in that herd. I know there's as some females the over there. Go. Yeah, I I'm kind of tempted to yeah. sneak over there and put the uh, black Actually, powder to work. Well, before you do that, hang on. My turn. And I'm even going to cheat Wait. a little bit here. There's the mail. Hold on. Right. Hold on. Working on it. Okay. All right. I see it. Get my thing set. 75, 100. What? You suck. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, now I definitely feel better. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, I, you know what's weird though is like, I took a lion down 330 yards with a double lung liver shot with this rifle. You know what else isn't funny? Are you kidding me? Hang on a second. Mm. Oh, 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 they're, they're not, wa oh my god, they're not walking on my screen. Not that one. I have one that's just skating. Oh, no, it started, oh. its leg started working. Okay. On the bright side, I think the stag I shot is down. Because I don't see it coming back. But we probably need to get over there pretty quick. I only see one hunting pressure, but they may have overlapped. I was gonna say, uh, you're yeah, that's not happening, bear. Did you hit anything? No. No. I don't he, even think I scared it. Scared it. <laughs> you scared him. I was gonna say you don't. Uh, first of all, it kind of depends which one you were using, the mini ball or the round ball. The mini ball. Yeah, that might. Be some practice. So this is about what Generation Zero's like, Bear, just except the animals are robots with guns. Yeah. Just sneaking through the woods. I wonder if you need to buy some brown pants. Mm -hmm. Nah, just get a brown office chair and don't wear pants. <laughs> well, there's a blood spot on the ground right I, here. I was going to say, where did I shoot mine? I don't know. Well, no, yours went down pretty quick, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it should only be a few paces from its blood splatter. Uh, yeah, I got and your... And it's definitely vital. Yours is up here. Oh, I just... It's right here. Oh, yeah, that's him. That's nice. That's a that's a good size red deer right there. Mm -hmm. You can't flatten that bush. Nope. Stuck on bear. Okay, so the one I shot, I see a track for. 358 yard heart shot. What? Nice. No, 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 that. hang on a second. How? What? They don't run from a heart shot. Maybe if it's from over 300 yards, they do. Uh, right I th long. think I missed mine completely. Yeah, I think I thought so too when, when, it, when you took a shot at it. I thought I saw it like the animation of it taking a hit. Yeah, it took the hit. I, Did but it? it didn't. Hang on. I forgot something. Mm. You guys are going to hate me. Mm. 
I have the collar. Oh, that's hey, there's blood over here. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, I didn't miss. The question is, is it dead? Well, the blood track shows 2550. By now, it's got to be. Now I just got to catch up to the prints. Well, I'm following the females right now, all the doe. Or, oh, oh, oh. I got a track. Uh, it's no longer bleeding. You're kidding. I'm not. I really wish I was, but I'm not. Ah, <sighs> that's why. Okay, so it's over here somewhere at 25 to 50, waiting for me to put just one more round into it. You gotta be kidding me. Where did this guy go? Oh! Turn my light off. There you are, you sack of potatoes. <laughs> Oh, he started. Yeah, come on. What? I I watched the hit that time. Oh, there he goes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go down, go down, go down. Yep. Is he around the other side of the lake now? Oh yeah. Basically, if we had stayed put and looked left, <laughs> I'm not even joking. He ran. They ran. They're actually. They're over there right now. Uh. Well, they, I just ran into a tree. Um, yeah, they're over basically where the puma tracks were. Mm. Now, that one had to be a vital hit. He did take a step, but I'm pretty sure I caught back a lung. Did someone just burp into the mic again? Sorry, no, I tapped the mic. Okay. Well, it sounds a lot like a red deer warning. <laughs> where is he? You, no... He, I saw the hunting pressure. You died. Oh, thank the Lord. I was like, the tracks disappeared. That's because he's dead. Found him. <laughs> Did you save him? About time. Hmm? Uh, Did you save it with a vital? Oh, I don't know. Let me see. Uh, I'm just going to do that. Oh. I see what happened. What? I'll see it here in about 20 seconds. I didn't have enough pen. Huh. The what first are you shooting with? The M1. Ah. At 389 yards, it didn't have enough uh, to touch the lung. It would have been... I might have just missed the heart, but it would have been a right lung. Yeah. Huh. And then the second shot, I... He... Broke into a trot right when I pulled the trigger, so I missed the lung and got intestines. You are very shiny. I just ran like 500 yards. <laughs> if I did that in real life, I'd have a heart attack. <laughs> but you are very shiny. It's the new gun. It's like he's made a hey, porcelain. Speaking of which, hey, you're, you're a bit of a gunsmith guy, right? Okay, explain to me how they would actually attach the scope to an M1. You know, I actually saw you bring that up the other day. So if you look at, uh, actually, here, I'll use mine so you can show everyone uh, this one. So if you look at where the iron sight is. Yeah. All right. The iron sight. And again, I'm not positive on M1s, but all other military style rifles from that era, that pin that holds on that iron sight would be removed and the scope base would be mounted to that laid over the action and then tapped, uh, drilled and tapped into the action on the other side. Okay. So the fact that they've laid just a scope mount on wood yeah. not really accurate. Well, I It could, could be done, but the second you pull the trigger, that scope's going to rip right out of the stock. That's what I was figuring, because the other one thing I'd seen is uh, there was the scout version, and yeah. what they did is they actually took the wood section up there and strapped down steel that had a uh, universal rail built into it. Yeah. And that's the thing with a lot of scopes. It's either mounted over the action. And on these guns, because of the style of action, I believe it has to be a little bit offset to the left-hand side yeah. to avoid ejection. Uh, or they do the scout style, yeah, and they replace the front section, which is also what they did on, like, the uh, lever actions. Yeah. 
that's why the lever action in this game has the offset scope because it ejects directly upward so they offset the scope instead of doing the scout scope okay another question all right this might be a bit of a dummy question uh it's using a rotary mag right no it's not are you sure no that's yes. a, that's just a straight spring loaded. Kind of. It's double stacked, uh, and it's a clip style mag instead of a magazine style mag. Uh, and these are the guns that were known for the glorious ding after yeah. the last round. Yeah. So did it actually? I I don't know where I saw this, and this might be stupid me saying, but didn't they actually use a clip to reload it? Not actually swap the mag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. There isn't that that thing that it spits out every time. Ping, yeah. That's the clip. It's a clip that stays on the rounds okay, as this, you press them into the gun. This doesn't have the straight clip that pushes them down into the rotary house. No, that's a stripper clip off of, like, the... Uh, oh. Actually, amazingly... Deer? Red deer. Like, right here. Yeah, they're coming back. Anyway, so you were saying... <laughs> so that stripper clip design... Is <laughs> all right then. That stripper. <laughs> <laughs> Are you I'll kidding me? <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. And it just died. Oh yeah. That was a good way to end that. <laughs> Who shot it? I did. At first, I thought you. Sh- I still thought you shot Steve. <laughs> no, I shot the deer. <laughs> Okay, and then back the deer ran over Steve. Back to the tent. <laughs> so uh, you were saying, Bear, before we were so rudely interrupted. <laughs> so the super clip that you're speaking of, those a- were from like the Mosin the Gaunts, uh, the Mausers, things like that. There's a giant those- buffalo in the area. Sorry, <laughs> I'm on <laughs> Okay. <laughs> We're really bad at this. No, I, yep. I, okay, go ahead. Say what you were going to say. So, yeah, the Mosin, and the Gaunts, the Mausers, things like that. That's what uses the stripper clips. And those, that stripper clip would sit on top of the action, and you would just press the bullets down into the action. Right. And then keep the stripper clip out of the gun. This, it's a little clip that the rounds mounted into that actually gets pressed into the gun until you eject your last round. The clip gets tossed with it. Okay. So, fun yeah. fact... Back in World War II, when they were using this gun, they would take those little clips when they were empty Mm -hmm. and save them so they could throw them at someone's helmet. The enemy would think they're out of ammo, turn the corner, and then they could shoot them. (laughs) Because we are so much smarter than Germans. (laughs) Believe it or not, that was their thing. They would throw the clips. The empty ones. To make people, to make the enemy think that they were out of ammo so that. Yes. That's. So that way the enemy would stick their head around the corner thinking they were reloading and they could shoot them. Huh. Yes. That's interesting. All righty. And so, yeah, to make that perfect metallic cling, they would throw it at another soldier's helmet. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Part cause... of the reason we won World War II is because we threw empty each other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you cut out perfectly there. <laughs> uh... what? <laughs> what was the last thing you got? It, it, so- it was just like empty... At each other. <laughs> All right. All right then. Well, on that note, get the hell off my server. Yeah, it's my server now. <laughs> All right. How about get the hell off my network? <laughs> Good luck. And I'll I'll pull the plug. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she doesn't realize she's wireless. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, seriously, to put the ending sequence on, I can't hear anyone, so I'm switching to that. All right. All righty. Little toodles. <laughs> <laughs>